what is up gala gamers welcome back to another gala games ecosystem video today we're going to be talking about champions arena which launched a couple of days ago i have been scouring several discords for the most common questions that have been asked about this game and i thought i'd make a video with all of them in one so you don't have to search for all the answers you can just find it in this video so let's get to it so here we are in the champions arena home screen and the first question is how to summon and where to summon champions so you can summon champions in the estate and to find the estate you can just click here go to estate list and it'll give you a list of estates now if you look at the first one this is the estate that you're going to be using for the tutorial it's called the council estate you do not want to use this estate the main reason being is if you look here, the members fees are 100%, the non-members fees are 100%. So what that means is anytime you use anything on the Altan, anytime you use anything on the trading market, you will be charged 100% in fees. If you look here, it costs 10k gems to summon using this council altar. Now you don't want to use the council altar. What you want to do is you want to head over to the estates. And then you want to check this mini map here around this section here you can find the estate called gem champion now gem champions is the estate that i am currently in and we have set it to members fee of 10 percent and non-members fee of 10 percent because that is the lowest you can set it at so when you use our estate you will not be paying 100 percent in fees you will only be paying 10 percent in fees when using the altar and the trading market so if we go to altar of champions you can see here it costs you 5500 gems to summon 10 champions you are saving literally half the cost so you could almost summon again if you use altar instead of using a council altar same with the market if you are buying and selling stuff on the market you want to be using our estates market because you will not be paying a lot in fees so the way you summon the champions you just have to click on the altar here and then you just click either summon 10 or summon individual this is premium if you look here premium gives you a higher chance to get the actual champions you get champions 100 percent whereas normal summons is fairly cheaper like 10 times cheaper if you're using our estate it's five times cheaper but this gives you a 10 percent chance to get a summon or it gives you a 90 percent chance to get a soul stone for that character so to get actual champions you want to do premium summons and to get soul stones you want to do normal summons with a chance of getting lucky and getting the champion stones so the next question is, is how do you link your gala games account now if you are not playing on pc and you're using ios or android you will have to link your gala games account to your gaming account and to do that just click on the menu icon here go to settings and go to account and if you are on android or ios above this you will have an option called link account you just have to click on that follow the steps to link your account to your gala account and you'll be gucci the next question that most people ask is how do i use my nfts if you already have bought them and you've linked your gala account well all you need to do is click on the setting icons here you go to nfts and as you can see here these are the nfts i currently have in my gala games inventory what you want to do is click on this icon here this padlock icon so when you first click on it it's going to be unlocked you need to lock the nft champion to your account which makes it so it's not tradable and it is bound to your account if you do want to trade it at a later date you just unlock it and then you'll be able to trade it but you won't be able to use it in game moving on to the next question and that is how do i find things that i have bought in the cash shop or other things that you have purchased so you want to click on this settings icon here and you click on delivery and when you have purchased something it will show up here on the list and all you have to do is press receive by mail and then click on your email and click on the purchase tab here and it will show you what you have bought as you can see here i have bought five scrolls of minting which was bloody expensive but then i did mint this guy bb0 into an nft and i am using him as an nft and one of my characters in my arena team so the next question a lot of people have been asking is where to find the battle pass and how you can buy the battle pass well the battle pass is here and this is the default one you have the top row if you haven't purchased the battle pass and if you have purchased the battle pass in the cash shop you will unlock the bottom row now to buy the battle pass you just have to click on cash shop but this is the desktop one and if you click on cash shop it gives the pop-up here the offers available on pc version are different from those available on the mobile version please play the mobile version to see more offers so when you click on that it's going to take you to the gala games website 
and it's just going to have gem bundles what you need to do is either have an apple or android phone and open up the game in there now ios has been having issues recently so i will be showing you the android version now i'm going to quickly open up my emulator for android so let me quickly turn this off and as you can see here we are in the nox emulator the android emulator you can see i've typed in old school rs which is old school RISCape. that's what i used to play on the emulator but now i have champions arena so once you're in the android game you want to press cash shop and then it'll give you the same pop-up but here you have a lot more options in the cash shop so this is the best value packs that they are offering you but you can go through them individually so if we go to packs you have the minting scroll pack here then you have the monthly growth package then you have equipments then you have soul selection a bunch of basically packages you can buy you have the monthly pass where you get gems up front on the first purchase you get this set amount of gems every day depending on which package you buy then we have resources you have one-time limited account resources so if we click here you will get 5,000 870 paid gems and they will give you 7130 not paid gems and this is a one for one on your account and then you'll be buying these ones which does not give you free gems it just gives you the paid gems if you buy the last two packages they do give you some extra free gems but if you can you want to buy these packages first and then we go down to here you can get premium tickets for one pound and then you can get normal summon tickets for 189 and then if you click on the battle pass you click activate and you will see here you can buy the battle pass for 25 pounds 49p and that is how you buy and activate the battle pass and that is how you buy things in the cash shop now the next question most people have been asking is how do you level your champions and link them you only ever need to level two champions in champions arena so if you see this is my team you can see one level is in white and one level is in orange and yellow the two champions i have in white are the champions i have leveled so you can see the sophia is 63 out of 100 and you can see bb0 is 60 out of 60. now if we go to veronica she is level 20 but she is linked level 60 so that basically means she is equivalent to a level 60 and the way you do that is you click on the champion the lower level champion then you click on link and then you select the higher level champion you want to link to but you're not going to have that unlocked at the start so i'm just going to pick a random champion go to link and you see here you have to pay 100 gems to unlock the soul link and once you have unlocked the soul link you basically get the lower level champion and you link it to the higher level champion so my veronica is level 20 but i have linked it to my level 60 bb so it is now a level 60 veronica you can do the same for here with my sana my Sana is level 1. I have linked it to my Sophia. So she is equivalent to a level 63. So you only need to level 2 champions. And then link the other 2 champions to your main 2 champions. And that is how you soul link. Now the way you level up your champions. Is basically by clicking on the champion you want. And then pressing level up. You will need gold and you will need experience. The higher you level up. The more it will consume of each type. So if you can see here a level one level up only costs 95 experience and a thousand gold and then to level 63 to 64 it costs me 38k experience and then 33k gold the higher you go the more expensive it will be next question we have is how do you mint your champions well to mint your champions you have to go to an estate and as i said before you want to use our estate which is gem champions you can find it if you look up here on the mini map you just have to click on this section here just next to the mountain range and you'll find gem champion you can also find it by clicking the options menu here and clicking the estate uh i don't think you guys can see it. i'm gonna have my webcam quickly so you click on options menu click on estate list it will take you to the estate list then all you have to do is type in gem champion and that will take you to our estate then you just click on this icon here and then it will take you to the estate with the 10 percent fees the one that you should be using then all you have to do is go over to the altar go to minting and then you select the champion you want to mint into an nft ready champion and then you mint it into an nft so if you want to mint this leopold it will cost you six scrolls of minting to mint it into an nft ready and then into an nft champion this is what i did with my bb 
which you cannot see right now but if we scroll down here you should be able to see it ah there it is there you go so that is how you mint characters now if we go back to the lobby with the next question which is how do you get equipment so the way you guys can get equipment is you click on challenge here and you have to unlock the tower of trials i believe that's unlocked in chapter 110 so make sure you progress through the campaign and do that and then you will unlock the tower of trials now if you click here it will tell you the tower of trials consists of a total of 50 floors each floor has a maximum of three trials and if you deploy a champion that meets the trial conditions the corresponding trial will appear if you fail to dispel the trial you will battle with the trial still applied once you clear a four you cannot play it again on the first of every month the trial tower record will be reset and you can start from floor one again Clearing a floor will count towards your challenge counts. If you fail a challenge, your challenge counts will not be counted. Challenge counts will be recharged once a day at reset, once the time has passed. And basically what you want to do is you want to clear these Tower of Trials floors, which will give you a magical equipment chest. So the lower rarities give you uncommon, the higher floors give you rare, then you can keep going up. So you get five rare chests you can get four rare chests and then if you get to floor 26 you'll be getting epic chests if you go all the way up to level 50 you will be getting the legendary equipment chests and that is how you get equipment you can also get equipment by going to the estate and then going to the marketplace so you want to go to trading market and then you want to head over to equipment and then you can buy equipment from other people who have listed it this is the price and this is the quantity of available items. So you click on the item and it will take you to a list of available items that are being sold. You do want to check on the properties. For example, this one gives you 3% pierce. This one gives you 2000 HP and it is already a plus three enchant. So out of these ones, I would probably buy this one. It's a bit more in paid gems, but it gives you a good modifier. If we go back and we go to another one that has a lot of quality we click on magician's robes and then as you can see here this increases hit rate but this one gives you defense so depending on the champion you want and what stats you want always make sure which one you are buying now we move on to the next two questions and that is how to level your summoner and how to level your battle pass well the easiest way to level your summoner is if you do the campaigns you will get this which is account xp account xp levels up your account which is basically your summoner you can also get account xp by buying growth packages in the cash shop if you want to get that early game boost now how to level your battle pass you go to quests and you want to complete the daily and weekly quests these will award you keys which unlock the, these chests and it will unload you these like diamond things which will be used for the battle pass so if you complete this quest which is login you'll get 200 points towards your battle pass and if you go to the battle pass here i currently have 1400 and i am level 9 so once i level this bar up i will get to level 10 and i'll unlock these two rewards and you do not have to pump gems into this you can complete this normally but if you do want to pump gems into this you just press upgrade and you can select how many levels you want and it will tell you that you can maximize the battle pass there you go you can reach level 50 and i'll pump 41 levels it will cost me 4100 gems but i'll basically unlock all of this so if you are a whale or just a gamer who has money to spare you could be doing this and it will give you advantage in game now another question that a lot of people have been asking is how to gain mana because sometimes in the arena they're getting stomped by summoner spells and they don't know how to get their mana up so the way you get mana up is by the selective champions you are using so if we go to bb0 right here and go to skills you can see his normal attack it deals damage equivalent to 130 percent of the attack on the enemy and it gains one mana if you match the card the damage is increased to 150 but if you go to sana here her basic attack is basically it deals damage to 125 percent of the attack and increases the turn gauge of an ally with the highest attack by 10% and if you card match the mana gain goes up to 2 mana instead of 1 so you want to look for these champions that give you mana on attacks and passives for example if we go to Zymar here we go to his skills his passive skill you gain 1 mana at the beginning of each of his turns so if you make this guy survive for 4 turns you've basically got 4 mana for free 
and then his basic attack also gives you one mana on normal cards and if you match the card it gives you two mana so you can get three mana a turn by using Zymar and he can also buff and give you barriers to your champion so he's a fairly decent champion the only thing I don't like about Zymar is his conditions he is bad on sun and very bad on star but he is decent on moon now we move on to one of the main things that you should be doing and that is the mayhem tab right here so to do mayhem you want to click on this explore and then you want to select the team with the highest perception now it currently defaults to lowest perception so i just click here and change the arrow and it will give you your champions with the highest perception so if we click here that's 42 but if we click down here it gives you 16. So you want to have the team with the highest perception currently these are the champions with the highest perception and then you want to hit explore it will cost you 10 essences and you can get essences by playing the game and doing dailies now the rewards you can get are xp gold and mileage you can also unlock things like mines so if you see here i currently unlock two mines a normal mine and a lesser mine and then you need to put your champions to work so these champions are currently mining me lapis you can also unlock raids and raids is basically where other people can discover your raid and they can help you participate to complete it and once you do complete it you can go to rewards and once an activity is finished it will appear here and you can collect them you can also go to collect all for the mine section now you can also scan the world so when you scan the world other people's things will pop up so if you see here there is this person's greater mine he currently has these champions defending it and mining it and i can get five lapis if i want to raid this mine if you go here it's level one champions and i can get two lapis here it's level 60 champions with nine lapis here is level one and 30 champions to get nine lapis and here is level one champions and i'm getting zero lapis the advantage to this is you can only use two essence instead of 10 essence to get things so if this is like 50 to 100 it might be a good idea to plunder but the lower level ones you don't want to plunder and you can also find raids i got unlucky here and i found just a bunch of mines but once you complete a exploration you get the reward and then like this a powerful enemy encounter will appear so you want to click on the exploration and we have a raid so we're just going to raid that with two points we're going to set our team and since it's a level 20 raid and we have level 60 characters i am just gonna auto through this and it's already on i'm gonna do one of those youtube cut things here and you'll see the reward in just a sec so we have just completed the mission we're gonna skip that results complete we have completed the raid by ourselves and then you click on the reward like i said before and as you see here raid discovered by smiling monster time of discovery and the result it was a success so you press rewards you get a chest and everybody that participated will appear here you want to press claim reward and we got a epic Ooh, that is actual decent reward i think it's a 12 hour massive mixed items 12 hours so basically instantly grants gold and champion xp in the respect amounts equivalent to 12 hours worth of retention reward not affected by bonus so as i said before you can sell these on the estate if we go to our estate we go to gem champion we enter and then we go to the market now if we go to sales i'm currently selling one of these but if you go to history i have sold one of these before and i've managed to get 1200 gems so the whales will buy this off you you do not need to spend money in this game to be able to progress you can play this game get equipment get soul stones get miscellaneous items sell them on the market for gems and progress your account now on to the final question which a lot of you have been asking and that is how do you get victory points victory points are the currency needed to earn gala in champions arena so you want to go over to challenge you want to hit arena and every time you win in the arena you'll be getting victory points victory points earned with an nft champion is entered into the arena battle victory points can be exchanged for champion tokens now champion tokens is a misprint victory points reset daily and you will get gala distributed into your gala games account once it is linked to get victory points you do need nft champions so as you can see here veronica is an nft bb0 is an nft sana is an nft my sophia is not an nft i'm not turning her into an nft because minting it is ridiculously expensive but i have these three champions and i'll be using them to do arena 
I believe I've won three to four battles, which gave me this many victory points. If you have all legendaries and your rank is higher, for example, if you look here, currently rank one is Crown Looter. You can see here, he's gonna get extra bonuses for his high rank. So all these people, RNG Crypto, my man over here, NFT Chuck is the leader of my estate. Trader is in my estate. You can see people here. Garrison is the leader of Hydra. The OG Gem is the leader of Gem. You can basically see if you rank up and you have high tier champions, you'll be earning a lot more victory points. And those victory points, you want to try and get a high arena score because if you go to reward, if you are in the top 200, you'll be getting a minting scroll, an arena reward box and gems. If you're on the top 1000, you get 200 gems. If you're on the top 600, you get 400 gems in a box. But you, if you can, try and aim for the top position. You get 11k gems, legendary arena boxes and three scrolls of minting. The top three positions get a load of gems then four to 15 a decent reward the top 50 decent reward top 100 very good top 200 you ideally want to be the top 200 every week because you get one scroll of minting free and you can basically play the game for free and mint your champions with the nfts and earn in the long run later on you can see here my current ranking is 137 i will be playing the arena a lot more later on today i'll be streaming it too but if you want to see me fail at arena or you want to see me own at arena Feel free to check that out but that is pretty much all the questions that i found on discord that people are asking if you have any other questions that you need answer just leave it in the comment section below you can always find me in gala gold and gala's discord so feel free to ping me there and ask questions or answer them to the best of my abilities if you're looking for a guild to join check out the gem champions or gems in general you can also join mum and you can also join hydra those are the three guilds i recommend because the people in there that are running those guilds are people that are trustworthy and they will do right by you. They won't try and scam you like some of the other guilds. It's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the live stream and the next Gala Games ecosystem videos. Probably going to be about Champions Arena because I'm having a ton of fun playing this game. Peace.